Hello everyone, my name is Miss Megan, and I'm the head of circulation here at the Leech Library. And today, I thought I'd share with you some new books that we have in the young adult section. First, we have a book of short stories called Up All Night. This book was edited by Laura Silverman, and it actually contains 13 short stories that all deal with um, things that happen between sunset and sunrise. So uh, there's multiple authors, and you might see a couple of familiar names here if you take a look. We have Nina LaCour, Karen McManus, uh, Amanda Joy. So there's just a couple of the authors here, but uh, they are, are very interesting. Quick reads if you're interested. Next, I have another short story collection. Um, this is actually, it's called Blackout and it takes place one night in New York when there's a blackout and then secrets come out, new friends, ships are changed and a whole bunch of different things happen. And what's fun about this is all the stories are in interconnected. So even though there's six authors and there's six separate stories, they're really one long story together, which I thought was really cool. Um, and again, all of the authors in this collection are definitely books uh, and authors that we have other books of. So there's Donnell Clayton, Tiffany Jackson, Nick Stone, Angie Thomas, Ashley Woodfolk, and Nicola Yoon. So definitely pick this up if you're interested in short stories by some of these great authors. Now we have kind of a more a contemporary fiction that's more of a murder mystery. Um, it's called That Weekend and it is by Kara Thomas. There's no coming back. I just really love that tagline. What's fun about this book is it's about a group of three friends who go up to a cabin for the weekend, but at the end of the weekend, only one friend comes back and she has no idea what happens. She just doesn't remember. So it's all about the journey of what happened and to find out what happened to her two friends and maybe if, you know, solve a mystery there. And then in this stack, we have a book by PC Cast and Kristen Cast, which they are best-selling authors. So you may have already heard of them before, but what's fun is this is a the first book in an all new series. So the series title is called Sisters of Salem. And the first book here is Spell to Trouble. And it's about a pair of sisters, they're twins, they're witches, and they have to kind of find their destiny. And um, I thought that sounded really fun, especially as we're going into the fall season. It's always fun to read a fun book like this. Now, over here I have a more of a fantasy fiction. Um, it's called The Immortal Games and it's by Tolly Rothschild and A.C. Harvey. This one is great for fans of like Percy Jackson or other mythology based uh, books. The main character is actually a daughter of Poseidon, kind of like Percy. So um, I definitely take a look at this. Um, she actually wants to just prove herself that she belongs with the gods and she gets blamed for something that terrible that happens. There is the big catastrophe and Mount Olympus is destroyed and it, she take, it, the blame lies with her, but it wasn't her fault. She didn't do it. She was being set up. So this is her story about the adventure of Galene as she tries to prove her innocence and prove that she really does belong on Olympus with the rest of the gods. Then we have a couple of historical fiction books. This book is set around World War II. Um, there's a set of three friends that were having the best night of their lives. Like, it's gonna last forever, we're gonna be friends forever. They take a photo. Um, then as time goes on, they get separated. And what's really interesting is this story is written in um, different perspectives of each of the friends as they go through their life um, during World War II. And they actually end up on different sides of the war. And so you can kind of get both sides of the story and how one person could move 
just be different than you thought they might be. So I thought that was really interesting. So this book is by Bliss Kessler and it's called When the World Was Ours. And it's actually inspired by a true story, which is always a nice, gives it a little more authenticity into a book. Uh, this book we have called Luck of the Titanic by Stacy Lee. And it is about um, another set of siblings. Their last name is Luck, which is really fun, I thought. Um, and they just really, really want to get to America. And their ambition is to join a circus. And they sneak up onto the Titanic because they um, know that there is a big circus manager on there on the Titanic and they really want to be able to say that you know we belong in your circus but not only are they trying to have the adventure to get to America they also end up on a mission of survival because as we know the Titanic has a bit of a disaster before um, it doesn't actually end up reaching America so that's interesting um, as well and then finally over here we have no fixed address and this is by susan nielsen this book is about a boy and his mom who live in a van but the boy uh, his name is felix and he loves game shows and he actually gets the chance to uh, participate in the game show and if he wins it'll change their lives but the only thing is is he's not supposed to tell anybody that he lives in a van with his mom so there's a little bit of a story that goes along there because he ends up breaking that rule. And, um, but you get to see how his dreams come true and he gets to be part of a game show that he has idolized forever. Um, but it doesn't necessarily end how he thought it would. So these are just a handful of the books that we have. We have so many more to choose from. So if you're interested in any of the titles that I mentioned today, or if you'd like help finding books, you can give us a call at the library at 432-1132 and ask for the reference desk. You could also go to our li the library's catalog online and take a look and see what we have, or come on and stop by and check out our new shelf. We have a lot of books and I'm sure we have something that would fit your reading personality. Thanks for joining me today and see you soon.